and I'm pretty sure this over here it's P and do you know why it's a P? Because it's a great corner to go and relieve yourself. Everyone heard about the pretty brutalist complex Barbican in London but today we will explore the dark side of it, the dead corners. As you can see, right now we're in the heart of Barbican in London and today we will explore a different perspective of the Barbican. We will try to detect all the hidden corners and wasted spaces in this residential complex. Let's see. Right next to the main gate uh, to, that gets you in the complex and on the other side we have a place like you're going to like some kind of a hole. You find like a hidden corner like this one over here that's like filled with nothingness. So maybe you can see between all the columns there is like a little tiny air pockets and we want to go to squeeze in. Like it's like this, like what was the purpose of this? Most of the architects would agree on the following. Columns are beautiful, especially when they're specifically designed as an accent of an open public porch or promenade. However, the visual qualities of one building must be always in correlation with the spatial qualities of the space. For example, no matter how beautiful these columns are, walking around these columns during the night time might be a quite unpleasant experience. And that's maybe the biggest issue with this kind of architectural complexes from that era, especially that maybe aesthetically, as you can see, they look very interesting and they have certain kind of artistic value, but in a special manner, it doesn't really make sense. We strongly support the idea that a public space must be an integral part of any architectural and spatial intervention. However, designing the urban equipment in certain style that has been designed by one exclusive and monodisciplinary team can frequently generate problematic spaces. For example, have a look at the urban equipment of Barbican. This big kind of concrete patch and under it you can see like a little gap. Often you can see like pigeons hiding there or also what's the problem or the issue with that is that sometimes the trash that gets blown from the wind ends up in these little corners. You see, design is design but it's perfect spot for collection of garbage that can never be picked up and then maybe the master corner of the wasted spaces look at this here whenever we see these kind of dead corners first feelings are fear and anxiety nervousness tension suspension and memories of trauma all these feelings are natural but it's really an issue when these feelings are generated by an artificially designed space that according to the designers should have followed coherent architectural language. We don't say that coherence is not good, we just want to say that forced coherence can still look like a mistake and can generate a dead corner. This gap over here in this corner is a perfect example for our taste in stripping architecture. That corner which is under the ground, unaccessible and dangerous. Also, massive architectural interventions that are following strict morphology are often not very flexible and adaptable to new forms and potential extensions. Therefore, they are prone to generate strange leftover spaces like this one over here. Oh yeah, come on, don't tell me they predicted and pre-planned this place for storage of the garbage. I don't think so. I think it was a mistake and then they were like, just let's put bars on the both sides and make it storage. Additionally, huge scaled projects come together with big technical shafts and mechanical elements that must take place somewhere. If these are not genuinely incorporated in the program, they often result as wasted spaces. Don't you love it? Don't you have a passion to go through dead corners? Yes! Oops, there's like a puddle of leaking water and not very nice for walking, but that's what dead corners are for, right? To get nasty and sloppy. 
So they had a chance here to make a nice space that would like merge this space together with the entrances from the building, but no, they said like, fuck it, we need more wasted space and let's put this kind of glass per year here and make it weird. So you have this kind of column that's being like this wasted. Consequently, it is a problem when valuable architectural elements such as terraces, squares, fountains become slaves of the architectural style and instead of qualities they morph into underused spaces. So do you know what are these gaps over here under the terraces? These are when people are here and drinking their coffee on the terraces. You just go here under this kind of place and you hide yourself here and, and you're sitting here and then you just go out and you just go out up from under the desert you like boo and you scare the shit out of them that's the function of those you have to just think and as we are walking in this cave like and to be honest nice kind of indoor outdoor hallway we go and we find this and if you're asking me that little path over there on the edge it's also a dead place because no one can use it they even locked it there with a the railing and then this little stylish concrete platforms of the water there are also a little bit of a dead spaces because there is no safety guard and no one can use it since they're barely accessible for anyone unless you're a good swimmer and young person. Then, as we were exploring the lower levels of the Barbican, we have actually discovered the mother of all dead corners, a big giant abandoned concrete cave. And we have also found maybe a family of dead corners, which takes a large portion of the subterranean level. Just keep looking behind me. It's a dead place where zombies live. And after this we were convinced that Barbican in London is maybe just a giant festival of dead corners. You can literally find them anywhere and in different shapes. Dead corners are trying to hide from me, but I have a very good sense for them. I can find them wherever they are. Look, and sometimes dead corners just want to hide behind my back, but I know them. You're here. And there it is. A nice, another massive corner, dead one. Enjoy it. And my personal favorite dead corner. Actually, there is a little window over there to provide natural lighting, but I don't know how much you will get. It's perfect spot for putting different kind of metal equipment. And to finish this session of waste spaces in the Barbican, we finish it with this one. The biggest waste space. Can you see it? Yes, it's private. All this paved and hard surface is for the regular citizens. And this one over here, the nice green grass, is for those with deeper pockets. As we see on this stripping sketch, whenever you over-design architecture, you might end up designing a lot of dead corners. Thanks for watching again, stripping architecture. Don't forget to share, comment, subscribe, and see you next time.